I love amateur radio. I speak to people around the world every day on 10 meters, 17 meters, 12 meters, 10 meters, 40 meters, 80 meters. Yeah, five and seven, five and seven on QRP. You make friends. These people come back to talk to you. I used to have a, a chap in Japan. I sit there and just natter on with people. It doesn't bother me. You don't want to mic press it. You're in command then. You know, so you can't be interrupted. Um, Terry's a classic example. <laughs> We are Chorley District Amateur Radio Society over at Astley Hall today. Today's event is to promote two things, amateur radio itself, this is where we bring people into the hobby, and also it promotes the beautiful surroundings and uh, it encourages other amateur radio operators to call into us. If stations that you talk to want to confirm the contact, they send one another QSL cards and it's just a confirmation of the contact, the time, the date, the mode, the power. Personal QSL cards can wander just up to your imagination what you put on it, the pictures. Decorate the shack. Yeah, you don't need wallpaper. Your whole wall, <laughs> your whole wall is full of postcards. We were here before computers and everything, the radio, you know, that'll always be there. And year by year, the it's, uh, membership is going higher and higher. At the moment, we're on 77,000 uh, licensed radio operatives that are active in the UK. In Bromley, Kent, Mr. C.G. Allen communicates by shortwave amateur radio with all parts of the world. Thanks largely to his efficient directional aerial, there is, amongst his regular contacts, one 6,000 miles away in Cape Town, South Africa. Most amateur radio operators at home would use this particular kind of array, what we call beam antennas or glorified TV aerials. Well, that's, that's a nice size for a display. Amateurs on the radio picked it up and then made it grow. Your 9 December, we've had an eight year old pass, so don't worry about it. A young uh, member come in today, just joined, and I did his most. Next week we're going to do a little bit more and uh, he'll have his licence. We'll do about six, seven weeks. That's it. So this is Golf Bravo Zero, Alpha Hotel, calling QRZ. Golf Zero, Fox Hotel, Well, it's the electronic side, really, because I've always been interested in how things work. When I go on the radio, I get the excitement of working far distance on very low power, really. So you're doing a fantastic job with the station, Josh. America, Australia, Japan, and they're really good for talk to because they're a different culture and you learn about their culture and their way of life. Today we've worked 145 contacts and the, the furthest distance covered was an Italian station which is roughly 820 kilometres. It comes to radio, the world's one great big party line. I can't get enough of it, can't wait to wake up, put my radio on. If I do first thing I wake up, I put my radio on. I listen to what's coming in, what countries are coming in. You hear my call sign out, I'm getting a response. And when the station come back to me, I think, yes. I've got that contact in my logbook, it's there. That's the beauty of amateur radio, you see.